and welcome back in a new video in today's video i have an interesting video for you and for me as always and it's going to be another fragrance weekly rotation like the one i did before i did only one fragrance weekly rotation and do you like that video and i thought why i shouldn't do another one and i will let you know about the fragrances i wore six fragrances this week not like the last video i wore only five for the week sometimes i'm just not in the mood i wear sometimes only four fragrances a week sometimes six sometimes five it's all it depends about if i want to smell good or i'm going out to a place or something and this video is going to be special just like the one before in the one before the fragrance weekly rotation i let you know the fragrances i wore and i only chose i think la chafa fragrances and in this video i only chose my longest like I wouldn't say my longest lasting fragrances like in my whole collection but probably my longest lasting fragrances for the summer and this is what I want to let you know which fragrances do last um, in the summer more than some others and they are here there are fragrances from La Chafa from like cheap clones fragrances there are designer fragrances like you know designer and there are also um, one only uh, from the house of Mancera, which I will let you know about it. So enough talk. And before I start this video, I just want to thank you for your support. As always, it means a lot to me. Please like this video before you watch it, so it get recommended to other people. Let's get this video to 100 likes, and just let me know which content you want to see next. And thank you for your support. And let's start. And the first fragrance that I wore, and I started with this week, is the Hugo Boss extreme hugo boss hugo man extreme not the other toilet because that one it's really weak and also i wish you know if any fragrances of these got me some compliments on or what are my thoughts and if i have any observation about any of these fragrances and one observation of this one is that this is really long lasting than the other toilet because i had both and i bought this and i swapped the edt I don't like the ETT, uh, the EDT. This one is better. This one is just thicker, a little bit slightly fruitier because of the apple. So masculine, so dominant. This is not your typical uh, Playboy fragrance or a uh, hot guy summer. This is a hot man summer fragrance. This is a masculine fragrance for someone who is like mature in his mind, in his looks, in his. Um, the way he dresses this is the type of fragrances but it doesn't mean that it is so extreme and so like um and so serious this is has a little bit of a playfulness but not too much the dominant notes are the woody masculine notes with that um cypress and i think it's fur yeah and some woods as i said in the apple it's more of a fresh dominant apple does have a little bit of a sweetness this stuff right here lasts and lasts and projects and projects this is so oily almost oily as a mancera or a latafa fragrance because i don't know they put so much oil in this one i have i think a 2020 batch or 2019 which is good i'm not sure about the newer batches but this one is good lasts eight hours plus which is extremely good for a summer fragrance it performs everybody will smell you and will know that you are smelling clean fresh after the shower fresh out of the shower and masculine and just smell nice so think about trying this one it's really it's really worth trying and i went day after that with the mancera sicily and i would call i did a review of this one and i will do another in-depth review because the i felt like the review that i did like one year ago it's just not enough because this is more than what i said in the the last video i did it i i said about it some things but i wasn't like like in depth like this one the new review i'm going to do about this one is going to be in depth because this is the best citrusy summer fragrance of all time hands down for me and why i said that it smells really citrusy it does have a character because not it's fruity as well and it's floral so it's not your typical fruity um, uh, citrusy boring fragrance 
this is not your typical Dior Sauvage or your typical, I don't know, light blue or aqua di Gio. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, the good stuff. The citrus in here is just so yellow, like the water, not watermelon, that um, grapefruit with the lime smells so yellow and bright and it does have a thickness to it, not, not as fresh as you might think from the notes and also you are going to smell pineapple and this one get me, got me one compliment from a lady I know and she just told me I smell nice and I was because it does perform go heavy with it no problem even if it's really long lasting but if you want to maximize that longevity that performance you want to get the best out of it I would recommend 12 sprays or more it's really safe it's a little bit feminine and masculine like a unisex but it's really safe I don't think you will bother anyone with this one it is so good pineapple goodness with citrus notes a little bit of a woody to give it and musky to give it a little bit of a masculine vibe because of the florals are a little bit feminine anyway it does last 10 hours at least on me I spray heavy with this one I smell it all the day long so nice so good it will get you noticed it's it goes for like uh, $80 to $100 but it is definitely worth it and the fragrance that I wore also this week is going to be Supreme Lom Extreme and this is the clone of the Guerlain Lom Ideal the extreme version and this is not a summer fragrance but I wore this to a to a club and it was it wasn't really hot at uh, the night and I wore it and it's just it's really really good it's really extremely long lasting I wouldn't say it like the sillage, uh, like the performance or the pro uh, projection is a beast mode but it is definitely noticeable and it definitely lasts so long so this is not a summer fragrance but if you want to smell good at the summer nights when, when it's a little bit colder this one is perfect you are going to smell like plums like uh, extremely like a uh, like extremely like a uh, ice cream vanilla you know that vanilla they put in the ice cream this is not your vanilla that you will find probably in like uh, Armani code absolute or that DNA that vanilla is a little bit more of a boozy vanilla this one is more of a ice cream vanilla like uh, more of a yogurt vanilla creamy but don't go wrong this is not feminine or this is super masculine because it does have a spicy almond note with a woody vibe with a, a little bit of tobacco not too much the tobacco is really slightly um, soft and this is more of a softer fragrance than I would call of a aggressive fragrance because it's creamy it's soft it's masculine it's so cheap I forgot to mention that this is a perfect clone I don't think I will I got this for probably 20 to 25 dollars I don't know how like much this is worth in the US but I think it's worth picking up even for the 40 to uh, 35 dollar range it's perfect it does last long it did get me noticed I mean it's the club it's uh, when you are like in the club it's really hot inside and the warmth make the fragrance performs more anyway this is a good fragrance really long lasting try it this is not uh, an average clone this is a perfect clone and also I wore this one right here Bleu de Chanel I have a lot of mixed opinions on this fragrance right here because I, I'm not a huge fan of this fragrance but I just have to give this boy this his credit because it performs good not as I thought because sometimes I wear it I don't think it performs as good as some fragrances but sometimes especially in the summer this performs really good I'm talking about the other parfum and the other credit that it does get a lot of compliments I just have to accept that I'm not a huge fan of the price $150 for this one I'm not a huge fan of the how popular it is but I'm a fan of like people like it and that's good and it does linger in the air it does smell good and not a, I wouldn't say it's mind blowing but it does make you smell like you are fresh out of the shower and it does last long and people do like it anyway I don't think you should just go and buy this one it's a little bit 
too expensive but if you if you just want to smell good clean and you don't have problem with paying a lot of money for a fragrance then go because i could buy a lot of clones just for one bottle of this one and they all smell good and one other example of which clones i'm talking about in this fragrance that i wore also is Maher legacy extremely good really long lasting citrusy vibrant fresh so good you just you just, you just should try this fragrance right here and one other problem with this fragrance it does have a little bit of a like a goat wool scent to it but it's soft but some people might not like that but i do like this fragrance it's citrusy you smell pineapple with citruses with woods musks and this is not your typical fresh fragrance this is a little bit um has a depth to it and just smells like I don't know how to explain this fragrance, it's just that it is good. It is a clone of the Parfums de Marley Sedley. This is $30, the Sedley is $220 or even more. And what's crazy, it does perform probably just as good as the Sedley, if not better. And it smells really close. And Sedley is a little bit better to be honest, but this is a really, really good fragrance. If you want to smell just fresh, it does last 10 hours. 9 to 10 hours which is extremely good for a fresh fragrance because this is straight up fresh fragrance it does have a little bit of uh, woodiness and muskiness but what you smell a lot is that fresh citrusy lime it does have a little bit of a soda fizzy vibe but it is definitely worth trying and picking it up i think you should buy it blindly because it's just a fresh summer scent and it is cheap and the last fragrance that i have for you today is this one and I wore it also, and this is Jean Paul Gaultier, the Offres um, version. It is the same as the the Popeye and the Superman. This they have the same scent, just different bottles. Anyway, this is one of the most underrated fragrances of all time for the summer. This is extremely good and like almost syrupy vanilla with syrupy mint with bubblegum with a, like a pheromone or like a chemical ingredient to it like the ISO E Super and it just in the aldehydes and it just gives it like this almost the, psych, uh, the psychedelic scent to it and this almost like a fantasy scent because there is nothing in the real life that smells like this this is 100% synthetic but not in a bad way because it does last really good that vanilla is really heavy it smells like an ice cream vanilla just like the long supreme extreme i think they have the same vanilla note which smells like a yogurt vanilla creamy but this one it does have the bubblegum mint vibe to it with those chemical ingredients that i said a perfect i would say a perfect 10 out of 10 the best dating fragrance for the summer if you want to smell really good for your partner in the summer you will just want to make a good impression on your partner the first time you meet them or something on a first date or something perfect dating fragrance for the summer perfect uh, not for clubbing because this is more of a uh, like the day not of a night fragrance anyway a good creamy vanilla fragrance that you need to try don't just uh, underrate this fragrance because it is underrated don't overlook it because it is so good just try it give it a try one of my best fragrances that i ever tried for the summer as i told you my favorite dating fragrance because it's playful and sweet and just smells really unique and different also long lasting i forgot to mention that it lasts eight hours plus and it did get me a lot of compliments like um a lot because i had this fragrance for almost four years and i wore it every summer a lot and i just love it it just gets you noticed it smells really nice so this was the video i hope that you liked it i'm going to do more of these fragrances weekly rotations if you want to know which fragrances i wear i wear every week and every day i would probably do one fragrance weekly rotation each each um uh, two weeks or three weeks because i don't want to be the video to be repetitive because i almost wear the same fragrances each time and each time even i have a lot of fragrances but i don't reach a lot for all of them i'm not in the mood for that 
So if you like this content, this video, subscribe and thank you so much for your support and see you in the next video.